Yeah, a hip fracture is a serious injury. It actually has complications that can be life-threatening. Dr. Rob is in the house with tips to help prevent them. I had no idea they could be life-threatening. I really didn't. It's absolutely frightening how life-threatening these hip fractures can be. And they can happen suddenly. And what's really disturbing is the information behind this. It cost the United States in excess of $19 billion wow, dollars a year, with a B. billion with a B, to treat hip fractures, which are usually due to osteopenia, thinning of the bone, osteoporosis, loss of trabecular bone mass, and then people end up fracturing the hip. And it is one of the leading causes of death in the United States. One out of four people, after they fracture their hip, actually succumb to a complication of hip fractures, whether it's a DVT or infections. And you can see in this picture here, this absolutely frightening fracture of the left hip. And you can see it there on the right part of your screen where, that, where it's broken, right mm -hmm. where it leads into uh, the pelvis. Scary when, picture. when we think about hip fractures, um, I think probably a lot of people think, you know, a certain t older folks maybe mm -hmm. with osteoporosis. Is that true or is that, you know, is it kind of changing a little bit? No, that's absolutely correct, Katie. And what it is is people age, their bones start to thin. And as it starts to thin out, it becomes more susceptible to fractures, in particular hip fractures and spinal fractures. But there's tests that we can do to discover if those bones are getting thinner. And a couple of those tests that we have, one is the DEXA scan. We have a picture of that DEXA scan. Okay. Uh, it's a really simple procedure. All you have to do is lay on this table, and we go ahead and we scan your hips and spine, and we can see what the density of the bone at the hip and the spine is, and we can then estimate your short and long-term health risk wow. from suffering from one of these uh, fractures of, of the hip. And this looks pretty painless, it, an it's easy procedure. It's absolutely painless. It's easy to uh, uh, perform. It takes about 20 minutes. The other test that you can have done is a urine test, where we can actually measure the amount of bone that you're spilling in your urine, and it's called an entelopeptide test or NTX. It's a simple test to get at your doctor's office. And if those numbers are high, you're spilling bone, and that would be an indication that you need to have a DEXA scan yeah. to see what your risk is. If we have a family history of osteoporosis, is that something, is that, something that we may consider having ourselves when we grow older? That's absolutely correct, Katie. So if you have a family history, a mother, a father, that are grandparents that have had problems with hip fractures or osteopenia, osteoporosis, then you definitely want to have a DEXA scan and an n -telopeptide. The n -telopeptide lets us know what's going on now and into the future, and the DEXA scan tells us what's happening now and what occurred in the past. Okay. So both tests are very useful to have done. Then, of course, we have different treatments that yeah. we can do. Yeah, let's talk about that. Yes. So if you have thinning bones and you know that you have an issue with osteopenia or osteoporosis and you want to prevent these hip fractures or spinal fractures, all hormone therapy helps put bone back in bone. Every single study has demonstrated that estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, growth hormone, DHEA are all powerful hormones at putting bone back in bone. Importantly, vitamin D is is you, you need to get appropriate levels of those. Strontium, iproflavone with calcium. Uh, Weight-bearing exercise is very important as well. Then there's also other medical therapies like the bisphosphonates and calcitonin that you can use to help with those problems as well. So if we start to, to notice as we're aging maybe some of the signs of osteoporosis or if we do have a family history, we want to get into our doctor and come see you and say, hey, we, we have some questions, concerns, can you help us? Yeah, that's a great question, and what you want to have done is ask for an n telopeptide or NTX urine test or an, and or a DEXA scan, which okay. is simple to do, and it's painless, and it, it's uh, an easy test to perform. Yeah, but it can really help, and again, it, it actually can be life-threatening if you break your hip, so good tips from you today, and of course, where do we find you if we have more questions? Easy to find us at RenewHealth.com. Very good. Thank you for being here, as no, it's always. Absolutely wonderful to be here, as always. <laughs>